Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a fairy. I already make the sketch very lightly with pencil. Now I'm going over the outline with a pen. We sketch the hair and outline the face. This is another tutorial, as last week's, inspired by the arrival of the spring. But this one in a different and maybe more magical way. Let's draw her hair by making lines in the direction of the flow of the strands, going a little bit heavier and tighter to do the shading in the areas that should be darker. Let's make a little jowl here. And now her features, starting with the eyebrows with just a line, then the eyes very simplified, the nostrils and the mouth, just an indication of it, very very simple. Now the arms and the hands, since I already sketched them with pencil, this is really easy. I spent a long time doing the pencil sketch and making corrections and corrections. Now this is the fun part and what makes it look nice. We draw a line for the surface of the water. She's sitting on a big flower, which is floating. We draw her feet and now some fish. Fish with a long and big tail. Another one over here. Let's do an ornament around her leg, a third fish. And then let's give her some butterfly wings with some nice design on them. We can be creative here, I'm not doing this very realistic. And why not also butterflies, since we said this drawing was to welcome the spring. Now I use the back of the tip of the pen to do some shading because in this way it draws finer lines. Good, and there are some lines which I want to highlight. So I switch tools for my Montegrappa Aviator Flying Ace Fountain Pen, which in this case has a broad nib and black ink in it. So with this we can make some lines darker and more evident. So they really stand out comparing them to the other thinner and lighter lines. We don't want to do this everywhere, just on the parts that we want to stand out, like the young woman, her outline and things like that. And what about this one butterfly, which is flying in front? Now I go back to the other pen to shade. Shading gives a more realistic look and also a three-dimensionality. <laughs> that is, volume. It looks like it has volume. Let's also shade some of the design on the wings so that it looks nice. And it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. Take much care of yourself and of your family and I will see you with more art on Tuesday.